Hello and happy Easter from me, Auntie Dana, for Easter 2021. So when it's Easter, are there some things um, you like to think of? The Easter Bunny, basket full of candy, chocolate eggs, eggs. It's just a fun time and I have a story I'm going to read about a new baby chick because Easter happens in springtime. And then I'm going to show you how to make these cute, cute little bunnies. Um, if you want to get your paper ready while I'm reading the story, they look like peeps, huh? <laughs> All you need is just paper. Okay, um, a pencil because we're gonna trace. You're gonna trace your hand, and a washable marker for drawing the face, and scissors that you might need um, a grown-up's help for. Right. So for the story we have, it's spring in Daniel Tiger's neighborhood, and a baby duckling is about to be born. Teacher Harriet says the egg will hatch soon, but it's hard to wait. Daniel is so excited to meet his new fluffy friend. And I think this book is really special because it's from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And it is written here by Angela C. Santamero. All right, a duckling for Daniel. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Okay, it's springtime in the neighborhood of make-believe and something very special is happening at school. Hi neighbor, Daniel Tiger says, come with me. I wanna show you something exciting. In class, teacher Harriet holds up a photo Remember when we went to the farm, she asks. That's where we got a duck egg, Daniel says. Teacher Harriet says it's almost time for the egg to hatch. And for the furry, fuzzy baby duckling that is growing inside to come out. There she shows a picture. Remember we went to the farm. Daniel and his friends have been waiting a long time for the egg to hatch. Now everyone rushes to peek inside the nest. Notice anything different today, asks teacher Harriet. Daniel takes a closer look. He sees a crack in the egg. Miss Elena gasps when she sees it. <gasps> Who broke our egg, she asks. There's a little crack in there. Oh, the owl tells everyone that the crack in the shell means the baby duck is trying to get out. Daniel is so excited. The egg is about to hatch, he shouts. But it's not ready yet, so Daniel keeps waiting. Daniel is not excited about more waiting. Teacher Harriet knows how to help. When you wait, you can play, sing, or imagine anything, she says. There's the children all waiting. So while they wait, Katrina Kitty Cat twirls. Prince Wednesday plays with blocks. And Daniel imagines he is a duck. Quack, quack, waddle, 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 he says. <laughs> it's fun to pretend. Suddenly, the egg starts to wiggle and shake. Daniel's eyes widen with excitement. The egg is finally hatching. The shell slowly opens, piece by piece. 
first one piece is flying and then oh, starting to see the baby duck and out pops a brand new fuzzy yellow duckling everyone oohs and awes it's so fluffy whispers miss elena welcome to the neighborhood prince wednesday says after taking a look around the duckling waddles over to Daniel and says, quack, quack, quack. I think the baby duck just said, hello, neighbor, Daniel says. Daniel is so happy he waited and waited and waited for the egg to hatch because he finally got to meet his new fluffy friend. Ugga mugga, he says. <laughs> oh. Alrighty, what a sweet story. Are you ready to see how easy it is to make? Okay, so the first thing on your piece of paper, um, and I, I laid mine down on a table, so it's a better, you're just gonna put your hand on there, right, on the table, and then you're going to trace around. See my hand there? Okay. And just take the pencil and trace around and then you're gonna you're going to cut it out or have a grown-up help you cut it out and I just wanted to show you a few things so we don't need the middle finger um, because so we're just gonna cut it out because the other two fingers are what makes the ear so I'm just gonna that out so then you're gonna have that and the other thing is what we want to do because we're gonna fold the arms in is we want to make this the same so I'm just gonna quickly cut that out and show you how that will work okay that's probably about the same and the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make this round okay because they're my wrist, right? So we're gonna make it round. And you know me and crafts by now. There's no right or wrong. There's no perfect. It just, it's our own and what we do, right? Okay, so let's get those arms ready for folding. You see that? Okay. All right. So, how about we'll start with the bunny's pink nose? Soft. So, can you see what I'm doing there? Right. Just making a nose. And I wanted to show you. For the mouth, okay, the mouth, right? And I make a J, so a letter J. And then just give a hook on the other side, okay? And bunnies have whiskers, of course. Right, see that? And we're gonna give him some, let's see, purple eyes for the purple paper. One eye, two eyes, and the other thing I did too is to make the ears, I just drew, colored this in a little bit here. I'm just doing it super quick right now. I'll show you on my finished one again after. Okay, and then Half a circle here, half a circle here, one, two, three, one, two, three for the paws. And some kids might like to give, turn him around and give him a cotton tail at the back. <laughs> There's the one we made now. And 
Here's the one I made before when I was taking my time. So you can see what I mean about the ears. All right. I hope you have a super fun Easter and I hope you get a little bit of candy. Not too, too much, right? Don't want a tummy ache. And thank you so much for spending part of Easter with me. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.